What's up guys? It's um it's under the zero here and today I will be showing you guys how to get um woodworking and blacksmithing all that stuff up to fifty in no time. Um it it doesn't take it's not short, but here's where it is on the map. It's uh green shade, uh Marbrook, and it's right next to you know, Groutwood and Ardon and uh sorry if I'm messing anything up, I'm talking over like I'm voicing over this thing so it's gonna be a little bit weird um, me talking over a video that I already made cuz you know I kinda of forgot some stuff but uh, what you wanna do is go to where I just pointed the map you might if you missed it you might wanna go back on the oh I, sh I pull it up again okay anyways um, come over here to guild traders um, this is where you're gonna wanna go to start stealing stuff and yes this is one of those methods where you steal stuff um, and then deconstruct it to get more uh, or get uh, stuff faster. Um, uh, sorry about that. But we want to come over here um, to this place. This is the route that I use um, most of the time. Um, come over here, and you can also get a lot of money from doing this, and you know, a bunch of you know levels for your woodworking. Uh, so there's some places like here where it spawns, and then over there, um, right here, that spawns over there. Sometimes it's not going to spawn like. It's not going to spawn all the time when you do it, but most of the time it will spawn. Um, but if it doesn't, then don't fret. You're in the good place. But they don't respawn all the time. Like, all of them are going to be there. And sometimes in that backpack, there'll be motifs and recipes, so you, you might want to loot that too. Um, um, sometimes it'll say it's empty, um, but you'll be fine. <laughs> but uh, you can also do this blacksmith thing, as there was a dagger and a battle axe back there. But... Um, I'm just showing you guys where the spots are for stuff you can steal without getting caught. And uh, if you want to get caught, then steal stuff all around you. But there's a shield here that spawns there. It doesn't spawn all the time, as I said before. It'll not be there sometimes. Um, but there's a bow that spawns here. Um, and you get that. You also don't like if you don't want to get caught, then you know make sure you crouch, man. You gotta, you gotta do that crouch. Crouch. There's a shield right here. Um, there's a bow to the right and up on the table sometimes there's another shield and um, I think I said there's a bow to the left right there too sometimes um, yeah where I'm pointing right there um, but this is pretty much you know a qu the quickest way that I found um, I found this out by myself too that gets your woodworking up fast and also you can make money by making uh, as you see here um, you, you just deconstruct stuff right and then you get items and materials from it um, being like whatever place you're in so and since I'm in green shade um, there's a bunch of hickory stuff so I get a shit ton of hickory and I've gotten like three stacks of 200 already um, <laughs> and I sold them you sell them for like 800 every 200 um, like st the stacks and it's really good at making money too uh, but that takes a little bit longer but at least you'll make a profit out of it too while you're doing it and you know this only takes you know a couple of hours it uh, I started at you know, woodworking, you know, 22, and I am 38 now, um, and it only took me, what, three hours to get, you know, seven levels, and another 30 minutes to get me two more levels, um, just by me teleporting away from this place and teleporting back, but I'll show you that later, but see, it's just, it's a really simple method, and it's fast, and it can make you money, too, and, um, <clears throat> It also works for blacksmithing and stuff like that. But as you see here, I'm just um, deconstructing it for you guys to see. Because why not? <laughs> um, and here. And this one. Now, um, what you're going to want to do after this is you got to teleport out uh, to like another way shrine. Which I'll show you later. But right now, I'm just... Going over it again, you see that um, a max stack of, you know, a wood or any type of material that is craftable is 200. So if you have a stack of, like, a 200 stack of sanded hickory or sanded birch or something, or not birch, but it depends on what wood type of wood it is, and uh, that type of wood will give you some sort of money. Um, but for 200 stack of hickory, just selling it to some merchant um, NPC is going to give you 800. Um, every 200, 200, uh, hickory, sanded hickory, so, um, that's good, that's a way to make money, like, so, sometimes, um, I would get caught by, 
it, pretty much anybody in my bounty would be like 51 and sometimes I have to pay it off but um, if you get caught make sure you run straight to the woodworking bench um, and you <laughs> you deconstruct whatever stuff you stole and make sure you don't have anything else that you want to keep that's stolen on you um, before you go up to the guard and just pay him because uh, you'll make your money back later anyway um, but just make sure you don't get caught first of all but uh, here I'm gonna show you guys where to go um, you don't have to log out because most people log out but I wouldn't do that because it's it takes a lot longer and uh, sometimes your game can just mess up when you're logging out and logging back in it'll have like an error code or something uh, I get that most of the time uh, I don't know what the hell's wrong with this game because uh, when I log out sometimes log back in it fucks it up and then it's like nope you can't go back in and then I have to try to lock in a third time and then it the game freezes and uh, it's a bunch of shit fucking problems it's console problems okay but you're gonna wanna go to any of the way shrines outside of green shade like how I picked one in Grotwood and just wanna teleport to him the reason why I'm picking or I'm, I'm teleporting from way shrine is because you know if you don't know already I mean I'm gonna school you here um, if you go up to a way shrine okay and I can see my you click on it and you teleport to another way shrine from that way shrine you don't have to pay crazy right but <laughs> that's just for people who didn't know that but uh, that's what I do to save money because it's like a hundred fucking gold every time for me now since I'm level 37 and that sucks paying a hundred every time and uh, you can't you know fast travel twice in a row but what you're gonna want to do is uh, after you travel there fast travel back to Marbrook and you know as it's loading here I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting and uh all right so um just to show you guys this pretty much wraps up the video anyway but what you're going to want to do is just go back up there and repeat the process that i showed you the start of the video and um in about an hour or two um of course you got to have patience to do this i wouldn't do this if you don't have patience actually i wouldn't play this game at all if you don't have patience because that's a bad idea <laughs> um but yeah just Go to the spots that I showed you. This is just my route, but if you have a one that you enjoy more and that you think is less time consuming, then be my guest, do it. But this one is the one that I'm using right now, or at least for woodworking, because I'm not focused on blacksmithing yet. I probably will do that later, but not now. Hello. I'm saying fuck that shit. But see over there how the shield didn't spawn. Um, it's not going to be every time. Definitely not guaranteed every time. And see the bow is supposed to be right there, but it's not. Um, and you can also get the, those two alchemy bottles right there. Uh, depending on what level you are, it'll be like potions or serums or all that shit. But yeah, you just steal the stuff and repeat the process. And that's uh, that's pretty much the video. Um, it's a good money-making process. You can do this for woodworking. You can do this for blacksmithing. You can do this for pretty much anything that involves crafting. <laughs> as long as you find a good place to steal from. And this place is good for woodworking in my opinion but uh, anything else would probably work um, but for those other ones I would try to find somewhere else because this is only good for woodworking and it's fast too um, but uh, I also found a red guard mode if I was doing this in the backpack um, so if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to leave a like and I will see you guys in the next video peace